Do you ever wonder where your drinking water comes from? If you live in New York City, it comes from watersheds and reservoirs way upstate. The Bronx Children's Museum, in partnership with New York City's Department of Environmental Protection, asked Bronx native Sonia Monsano or Maria from Sesame Street to write a children's book just in time for the reopening of the High Bridge. The result was the lowdown on the High Bridge, the story of how New York City got its water written by Monsano and illustrated by Noel S. Gibbons. The story is told by the High Bridge itself. As New York City expanded in the mid-1800s, New Yorkers needed water from the Croton watershed. They devised a series of aqueducts and pipes to bring water downstate. They faced one problem, getting that water over the Harlem River. The high bridge was the solution, completed in 1848. The bridge was happy to supply water to Manhattan. Its opening was greatly celebrated. The bridge would also provide a walkway from the Bronx to Manhattan, an important bridge for immigrant communities. As ships grew bigger, the bridge would undergo reconstruction of some of the stone columns for a single steel arch in 1928. As the city grew, water would now come from a series of reservoirs, and the water tr transportation over the high bridge would cease in 1949. The high bridge was reopened to pedestrians and bicycles in 2015 after being closed for over 40 years. Though no longer bringing water, the High Bridge is the first and oldest bridge in New York City.